Get ready to change the world one blockchain at a time with George Levy, your single source of truth for blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency. Hi, blockchain visionaries. I'm George Levy. Today, I want to talk to you because I'm bringing you an interview with Saverio Pulitzi. Saverio Pulitzi is the artist and founder of BoutiqueAI.com. And uh, this is going to be a very interesting story because we're talking about NFTs. And Saverio is very actively involved in the NFT space or non-fungible tokens. And I'm very, very excited to be able to share this interview with you. Saverio, great speaking with you. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Well, uh, thank you so much, George. It's a pleasure to, uh, to speak to you today as well. Um, so uh, I, I'm going to like share with you today my journey uh, about how I became a, a computational artist uh, up until I decided to publish my, my first uh, non-fungible token. Um, so uh, a little bit about me. I'm a data scientist uh, with experience in the public sector and in leading tech companies. Uh, well, uh, fun fact, I'm colorblinded, so uh, these are the glasses I use uh, to uh, better distinguish colors. Um, well, um, today uh, I, want you, I want to share with you uh, a, like an important discovery that I made, but also uh, an important project that uh, represents uh, some new forms of art uh, in, the, in the 21st century. One thing I was going to ask you, Savedio, because you bring up a really interesting point. I've actually been reading some uh, about your background. Uh, the interesting thing about it is that you have multiple, you have several multidisciplinary degrees in art, economics, and engineering. But the interesting thing is when you bring up like the, the glasses, you need those glasses because you're colorblind? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And what I, find, yeah. what I find most interesting about it is that a lot of what I've gathered from what you present is that technology can actually enhance the way that humans can actually perceive reality, which in many ways is the case of your glasses. Your glasses actually let you view things differently because the technology of your glasses lets you see the world differently. But you're doing it the other way around. You're actually using technology to change the view of how everybody else looks at art. Very interesting angle. Yeah, 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 definitely. You, you, you spot it. And uh, I, I can definitely uh, uh, see that, like, how uh, I can definitely relate on how, um, you know, uh, like, colorblind people can, can actually see the world, like, in a different perspective, especially uh, when they can see, like, uh, color shadows and distinguish color shadows in the right way. So I'm actually specialized as well in computer vision. And so those uh, computer programs and algorithms that uh, are able to, to let you see uh, uh, images with numbers, uh, which that's the interesting part. And uh, indeed, uh, is what uh, I'm going to show you today, uh, uh, my project that's called the GKI. Um, and uh, so I can I can share uh, my screen, please. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, great. So uh, let's navigate to boutiqueai.com. Um, Boutique AI is a computational art boutique, um, which has grown from an idea that was sitting, uh, as you said at the intersection between different subjects, different fields of studies, uh, such as art uh, and computer science. Um, and then what I'm doing is combining uh, artificial intelligence uh, with uh, human creativity. Uh, and that's allowing me to uh, discover uh, things that uh, are uh, unknown and things that uh, would have not been discovered before. Um, in my first collection, that's called Leonardo da Vinci's Essence Collection, um, it took me uh, actually two years of research, uh, and uh, I used state-of-the-art uh, computer vision techniques uh, to study uh, Leonardo da Vinci's paintings, uh, who is also uh, one, of my, one of my favorite artists. Um, I was surprised to discover secret images hidden within Da Vinci's paintings. Interesting. Um, 
Yeah, um, so uh, it's uh, basically the algorithm, the computer program that I designed uh, is able to uh, actually show uh, some, some images that, um, and some secret messages as well that are hidden behind uh, Da Vinci's paintings. This is wow. Da Vinci's self-portrait, and we'll, I will now like, uh, later show you uh, in, uh, on OpenSea and uh, the NFTs that I created. But the point is, uh, you know, uh, so uh, the point here is that um, uh, like people are scared about, some people are scared about AI, right? Like they, they would think that AI could substitute uh, uh, human uh, creativity at some point. But uh, my uh, belief is that AI doesn't substitute human creativity, but actually empowers human uh, and human senses to let us discover uh, new forms of art. Um, very, very interesting. See, I go back to the same thing about your the the actual requirement of the the glasses, like you, the technology of the glasses you wear actually let you see areas of reality that you normally don't get to see, but you're actually applying that to just everybody. You're just basically adding a, an extra, I guess, extra emotion, extra sensitivity to human beings. We're like, we get these superpowers to see beyond, I guess is what I'm saying. Yes, definitely. And uh, it is exactly when it comes to innovation, you know, uh, innovation is uh, at the intersection between uh, diversity and between uh, different, uh, you know, uh, different cultures, different way of thinking, different perspectives, uh, different way of seeing the world. Uh, you know, th this this project, like, and boutique AI, uh, which is also now become like a computational art boutique, uh, is also now. Um, you know, merging with the whole idea of like blockchain, uh, which inspired me about the, uh, you know, the potential of, of NFT. Uh, and uh, so I decided to, to create um, three NFTs for my collection. Um, so if we, ac if we actually uh, go uh, here, um, we, can, we can actually uh, uh, see the, the collection. Mm. Um, on on OpenSea, uh, and uh, so each one of, of the NFT is linked to an artwork uh, uh, of the collection of the collection, um, and as, as you can see, there are unlockable contents. And uh, basically, uh, the idea here is that uh, if you get the NFT, you will get access to one third. Uh, of the algorithm that has generated uh, the, uh, the artwork. So the intrinsic value is that you not only become the owner of the artwork, but uh, you, also, um, you also get one third of the, of the algorithm. So eventually, if you buy uh, the whole collection, you will get uh, the entire algorithm that I wrote to uh, actually extract and, uh, and, and create uh, those uh, digital artworks. Um, well, uh, we have here uh, Leonardo da Vinci's horse, Leonardo da Vinci's self-portrait, uh, or uh, the Vitruvian face. Uh, my favorite one is uh, Leonardo da Vinci's self-portrait um, because um, it has been uh, taken and, uh, and it has been extracted and created by uh, studying high-resolution pictures of the Gioconda. So, like a masterpiece, like well known worldwide uh, uh, by, by, by the artist. Uh, and, um, and you can actually, the, the impressive thing is that you can see there is uh, Leonardo da Vinci himself that is hidden uh, behind the Gioconda. And uh, uh, that's why I, I call it uh, Leonardo da Vinci self portrait. Uh, you can actually see the, the shape of, uh, of the artist. Uh, that um, that is has uh, been hiding himself for centuries uh, within uh, within his masterpiece, and uh, and the impressive thing is that um, you know like AI and like this combination of uh, of of, of different fields uh, has been able to to discover that. Um, so um, it's very interesting to me that the. Uh, 
the way that you're actually approaching this is that you not only are using the technology to actually create the new art, but you're also using the NFT technology to hide a secret inside this painting that in itself is a secret. So it's very interesting how everything ties into each other. Very interesting. This unlockable yeah. content is only available to the person that actually acquires the painting, which in the process gets the technology or the code base to be able to create this. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, yes, exactly. And that's uh, basically, uh, you know, the intrinsic value of, of this. Uh, Leonard, you know, each one of those paintings has a unique story. So uh, obviously, uh, um, if you want to learn more, um, there is uh, there is like a, an explanation, detailed explanation on the website. Uh, uh, I decided actually uh, for my favorite one, uh, uh, which is again the, the self portrait, uh, to actually print a version. So the unlock the unlockable content for for uh, the other two is a digital piece of the algorithm, while. For this one, uh, it's actually a physical version that I have it uh, with me. Um, Interesting. And uh, I, if you want, I can show you like this. Okay. Um, okay. So this is like an actual framed uh, version that I printed and framed, um, and I decided to write the algorithm at the back of the painting. So basically, two pieces of the algorithm will be two part, two out of three will be digital, one out of three will be uh, physical, and uh, you know the person will be able to merge all of them. Would and that that's the interesting part about it, because the key question I see here is that while the unlockable content, the algorithm code is actually hidden digitally in the other two NFTs, the one that you spoke about, you have a physical representation which actually has the code written in physical portrait. Interesting angle too. You're you're really blurring the line between the physical and the digital all in one. Interesting angle. Very very. Uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it, it, it's also um, uh, interesting the the story about um, how um, you know the, the algorithm works. And if we go again on, on my website, boutiqueai.com, uh, you can also find uh, down here um, a few links. Uh, so there is a Medium article, um, which is, um, uh, I wrote this article to uh, explain uh, in, in important details what will happen. And you will, you will also be able to learn here more about um, you know a technique called steganography, uh, which is how uh, people in the ancient Greek, Greece were hiding messages within images. So it's it's a very ancient technique, uh, and you can learn more about how the algorithm is able um, to the methodology is and how it's able to 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 uncover uh, those uh, those images um, and. Uh, as well, there are other creations, so um, you can also follow um, the Instagram page for um, Boutique AI, which is uh, AI.Arts, uh, and you will see if you want to learn more about other uh, creations and, uh, and other artworks that are, uh, will come soon. Excellent. So Saverio, so for people that are interested in learning more about you, I guess the primary point would be boutiqueai.com and they can also get in contact with you through there? Yes, yes. They, they, you can definitely uh, uh, drop me a message. I'll be happy to talk about uh, art and technology or uh, as well as uh, my journey to, uh, uh, to, to the NFTs world. Um, or you can also uh, drop me a message uh, on, uh, on the Instagram page. Excellent. Saverio, thank you very much for the opportunity to learn more about your art. Uh, I am very excited about the, how you're pushing forward the whole NFT space and, uh, and for bringing together this uh, technology and humanity together into one. Fascinating work. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak with you. Thank you, George. Thank you so much also.
uh, for, for, for this opportunity to, to show uh, those artworks to the world uh, and definitely also for the knowledge uh, that you spread about NFTs, uh, which I think is, is, a great, is a great tool to, um, to claim the ownership of something and, and then uh, to promote uh, also digital art uh, to, to the world, to uh, different channels. Thank you very Thank much, Saverio. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you learned something in the process. I bring you brand new videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm George Levy. We're changing the world one blockchain at a time. See you next time.